सो फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज क्यूबिक पैराबोला क्यूबिक पैराबोला इज नथिंग बट वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब ए सो ना इफ यू सी हियर वी हैव द इक्वेशन कॉड्रेटिक इन वाई एंड क्यूबिक इन एक्स सो दिस कर्व विल बी सिमेट्रिक अबाउट एक्स एक्सिस इट विल हैव अ सिम टोट अ सिम टोट विल बी एट द इन्फिनिटी वी कैन फाइंड अ सिम टोट फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर वेन एवर इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव द इक्वेशन वी पुट दैट इक्वेशन इक्वल टू जीरो हियर वी हैव ए सो ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो डज नॉट मेक एनी सेंस दिस कर्व डज नॉट हैव अ सिम टोट दिस टू आर ऑप्शनल ऑलवेज रिमेंबर a asymptote can be present or it cannot be present similarly it can cut axis in a two point it cannot cut axis in a two points so cubic parabola is something like this and it is symmetric about x axis then we have the second curve 2a minus x into y square equal to x cube now if you see here this equation is also quadratic in y and cubic in x so we can write this as y square equal to x cube upon 2a minus x now we put this denominator equal to 0 so we get 2a minus x equal to 0 we get x equal to 2a x equal to 2a is a line and this line represent the asymptote so remember whenever we have the equation and we put the denominator equal to 0 we will get the equation of the asymptote so here we have the y axis and x axis now this curve will be symmetric about x axis here we have x equal to 2a so let's say this is our x equal to 2a line this curve will be something like this so this is nothing but a solid always remember so as you have seen in cubic parabola it can go up till infinity anything we do not have any limits here but here we have the limits of the asymptote so it can go till 2a and it will go in y direction till infinity only so this is the sesoid then we have the third curve y square into a plus x equal to x square into b minus x now if you see this equation is quadratic in both this is very different curve this is not a circle this is not a ellipse and this is not a hyperbola so what is this this is a strophoid so here if you see here we have y square a plus x and x square into b minus x so if we multiply this x square inside so we will have x square into b and x cube that is in y square we have y square and we have x cube on the other side so this is also matching with this part so this curve will be symmetric about x axis so we will write this curve as y square equal to x square b minus x upon a plus x we put denominator equal to 0 to find the asymptote so we get x equal to minus a so x equal to minus a this will be our asymptote so whenever we have the asymptote the curve will be ending towards asymptote so the curve will be something like this but then we also have b minus x in the numerator so we put y equal to 0 when we put y equal to 0 we get x square into b minus x equal to 0 so either x will be 0 or b will be x x will be b so this is the x equal to 0 and this is the x equal to b point so this curve is intersecting x axis at this point and this point so we will have the loop here so this is how you have to draw the curves